Mukwejo. The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session for this afternoon, and I would like now to uh, to hand the floor to the defense counsel for Nunchia to put questions uh, to the witness. Counsel Copé, you may proceed with your line of questioning. Thank, thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, good afternoon. Um, I would like to uh, revisit again uh, the site that you said uh, P was executed in 1979 or 1980, in the site of which you said P executed prisoners um, from Kang Tachan. I'm trying to see if I can get a more exact location from you. I think you said um, before the lunch break um, that there were waterfalls close by. A dam close by this site, a dam called Romlek Dam. Un barrage, le barrage de Romlek, à proximité. Answer, uh, Mr. President, Your Honours. Regarding the uh, specific location, I have no idea. Je ne sais pas about the uh, specific or the exact site of that execution. Le lieu de uh, very well, then I'll, I'll move on, uh, Mr. Witness. Um, I would like to take you to um, your statement before the investigating judges. Um, first, E3 slash 5522, um, answer uh, uh, 27. Um, You are being asked by the investigators Voici um, la question posée the following question. Before the Kang Tachan office belonged to the district, what were its dimensions? District, and then you answer, before the Kang Tachan office belonged to the district, there were two long buildings for holding prisoners, and those buildings were in the forest for secrecy purposes, so they could not be seen. Pour des de um, in E3 slash 5524, uh, question uh, and answer 24, uh, I read in your statement as follows. You told us that the district had you helped watch over the Krang Tachan office, and that is why you could enter and leave the office. What was your intention in entering and leaving? You answer, just to forbid the people from entering and leaving the detention site, because it was their secret location. They did not want anyone to know about it. Um, so, in both answers, you use the word secret and secrecy. Um, could you expand a little bit on, on this? Was the purpose of Krang Tachan to have it uh, hidden from uh, villagers to keep the prison secret? Is, is that how I have to understand your answer? Pour les villageois, est-ce ainsi qu'il faut comprendre votre réponse Answer. Uh, the term secrecy refer to uh, the condition that secret, it uh, should be should not be known to any other people and also to hide the activities inside that center. Il s'agissait les activités qui avaient lieu à l'intérieur du centre. Would that also be Question. the reason why this execution site that you were speaking about um, parlé, was in a quiet forest um, dans une forêt away from calme, the center? Or loin du centre, has that no relation to each other? Ou bien est-ce que les deux sont sans rapport? Answer. I simply knew about it briefly, not very exact. So when you are talking about Je the relation from détails. one place to another, I cannot tell you uh, about that. So I just asked other people, uh, where were those prisoners taken to? And other people uh, may have seen um, uh, other 
people were taken to other place and much better than me. Quelque part, peut-être qu'ils l'ont vu bien mieux que moi. Um, would you be able Question. to tell, um, based on your knowledge from that period and your conversations with other people, both both during the DK period and after de vos uh, the DK period, et après, that, um, notamment, à votre connaissance. Alleged executions did not, in fact, take place at the Kangtachan compound, but rather at the execution site that we have just been discussing. Tachan, mais bien au site d'exécution que nous venons d'évoquer. Answer. Um, at the commune uh, area, there was no location in which people were commune, arrested, but you asked uh, me that it was under the control of the commune. But um, commune, when the people were taken away from the commune, the commune had no communes, authority. La so aucun the, the small house for conducting the meeting was um, built for the purpose of hiding from other uh, attack, but uh, it was not for uh, re-education or to punish any people. Ça ne so pas à des fins de the location de that we organized for the meeting for that purpose, not uh, to to punish or to detain any prisoners. Aux réunions et non pas à la détention ou à la um, des maybe you didn't understand my question well. I uh, apologize for not phrasing it well. But excuses, what I'm trying to ask clair, whether, you would, whether you know je vous demande, uh, that in fact um, no si executions took place at Krang Tachan compound that people, if executed, même, were executed mais que, um, si des gens ont été at exécutés, the base of the mountain. Alors, ils ont été au pied de la montagne. Answer. As far Réponse. as I know, I uh, witness. I saw like that. This is my words. I I told to the investigator. C'est d'ailleurs ce que j'ai dit aux enquêteurs. The reason I'm asking you is question. that um, si the person that question, we have been discussing um, also quite extensively, Sai Sen, is saying that executions did in fact take place at Krang uh, Tachan Prison. Um, do you know, on the basis of your knowledge, whether that is correct or not correct? Avelieu à Krangtachan. À votre connaissance, est-ce exact? Answer. Uh, to my knowledge, Réponse. because this has this has happened long time ago. I don't know uh, whether people longtemps. were executed. So I Je ne sais pas si didn't know exécutés. what happened after si my departure for another place. Um, I would like to Question. move on to another subject, um, Mr. Witness. Uh, in your statement uh, before the OCIJ E3-72, um, in your answers, um, A15 uh, and A16 and A17, you speak briefly about um, Nguyen Chia. And in um, your answer um, in A30, in the same document, uh, you answer as follows after the following question. Did you ever hear the alias Nguyen Chia, such as Bada number 2, War, or Um Nguyen? And then you answer, I used to hear he was called Ta Nguyen Chia and Um Nguyen. Was that, do you remember giving that answer? Answer, yes, I remember that I respond this, uh, and I gave this answer to the investigator. In the same uh, document, uh, Mr. Witness, la you are asked a question in uh, A77, uh, and I read as follows. Um, question, when you read the documents, what do you learn from them? What position did Nguyen Chia hold? And you answer, uh, when the war was over, uh, the books were produced on how to build canals and water irrigation gates, and agricultural sector was dominantly discussed. At that time, 
The leaders were numbered such as Brother 1, Brother 2, Brother 3, and Tamok was numbered Ta-50. When he signed, he wrote his name as Ta-50. People sometimes, like from the East, did not know Ta-50. Next question is, based on your knowledge and understanding, can you recall the names of upper echelon people from numbers 1 to 5? And then you answer in 78, I only know number 1 and number 2. Question, who are they? And then you answer, number 1 is Pol Pot and number 2 is Tamok. I knew this after 1979. And last question, from 72 to 75, can you recall? And then you say it was Sao Pim, and after that was Tamok in the second number. Can you uh, tell the chamber how you came to that knowledge? And sir. I know this um, when I attend the education session and there were announcements of those people who were the leaders during that time. Do you remember concretely who said to you or how did you come to know that Sao Pim before 1975 was the number two? Sao Pim était numéro 2. Qui vous l'a dit? Answer. Uh, this has been a long time ago. Cela I forget many things. I cannot assure you um, the person who was actually holding that position, but this is based on what I heard from rang, uh, other people. And the same goes for question. Tamok being même the number two. Pour Tamok. Est-ce que vous faites la même réponse quant à son statut de Benga. numéro deux? Answer. Réponse. This based on the instruction uh, material for the study session. Je me suis um, fondé it sur indicated les this name uh, like this. Puisque là-bas, ce nom était figuré, était mentionné en cette qualité. In your uh, statement to the OCIJ, you uh, are answering questions um, whether you ever saw Nguyen uh, Chia uh, visiting the area. Do you remember what you said about that? Cette région. Vous rappelez-vous ce que vous avez dit à ce sujet? Answer: No, I don't remember. No. Um, A23 in this um, Je vous à la in a document E372 might help you uh, a little further. You uh, answer to a question, uh, I used to see the picture of Kyu Sampan but never saw Nguyen Chia's. Do you remember saying that? I remember that the picture of Kyu Sampan but never Answer yes, Réponse. I said that. I said like that. C'est effectivement ce que j'ai dit. So the first time that you Question. saw Nguyen Chia's face was La after 1979, is that correct? c'était donc après 1979, n'est-ce pas? Answer Réponse. yes. C'est exact. Um, you also testified that you are sure that you never saw or that, that you are sure that Tamok never visited Prang Tachan. I would like to revisit that, that, that topic. How can you be so sure that Tamok never visited Prang Tachan? Answer. Because I was working during the regime, um, regarding Parce que je uh, the à place which is not very important, important for him to visit as a senior leader, I don't think he will. He en would visit. It was only P. John Ping who would uh, visit Seul P. that John place. Ping this is this is based on uh, what I saw voilà during the regime. 
sous ce régime. Mr. Witness, I would like to now turn to uh, another topic, and, and I would like to read a passage uh, from a statement of a Southwest Zone cadre. Uh, Mr. President, this is a document E127-7.1.1, e it's the same document uh, I referred to earlier with another witness, EIN 0090-1567, up until 69, Khmer 00-89-3-1-1-1. Two seven four until seventy seven and French zero zero nine seven eight six four six six until uh, six four nine. Um, Mr. Witness, this Southwest Zone cadre speaks about meetings in the forest before nineteen seventy five. And uh, I would like to uh, read a passage or two passages from uh, his statement to you, and I would like to ask if you remember anything uh, similar. Answer uh, in A5, uh, Mr. President. Uh, with this regard, grandmother, grandf <laughs> Grandfather Mock issued an order that the commune, district, and sector levels did not have the authority to make arrests or kill people. La et du in the next page, in, uh, A9, suivante, when did, uh, question, when did grand Grandfather Mock make Quand this announcement? Answer of this uh, cadre, grand Grandfather Mock made this announcement prior to 1975 Avant during a wrap-up meeting held annually in annual Forest participated by the commune, district and provincial committees and the regiments. After 1975, there was another meeting in the provincial town of Takeo in the presence of Grandfather Mok and Som, who was in the Sector 13 committee. They announced that soldiers with the ranks from second lieutenant uh, to colonel were not to be harmed. Question uh, in 10, you meant that soldiers from the ranks of second lieutenant to colonel were not arrested? Answer, I did not know because the implementation was varied from sector to sector. My question, do you remember anything of meetings uh, held annually in the forest where uh, Tamok spoke about what to do with soldiers in the ranks from uh, second lieutenant up to colonel, that they were not to be harmed? Answer. I have never heard or uh, seen this, so I don't remember. Um, very well. Um, Mr. Witness, I would like to now to show you um, another document. Mr. President, um, I would like to show the witness document um, E3-4095. Uh, that is um, English ERN 00747236. And it's a, a document of um, about 43 pages, but I would like to show that there's only two specific pages from this document. With your permission, um, I would like to, uh, it's a notebook, I'd like to give the witness the actual notebook and separately the two pages uh, that are relevant. So with your permission, I would like to hand that document to the, to the witness. The president, uh, could you um, repeat again the ERN in Khmer language? So you gave only uh, the ERN in English. Yes, I, I apologize, Mr. La president. It's um, the Khmer ERN 0027 1089. 
and 0027-1118. 11-18. And as a matter of fact, it's also the top page of that uh, of that document, and that is um, ERN 00271089. The President, your request is granted. Le Président, allez-y. Mr. President, we are also um, able to show it on the screen. Nous aussi faire apparaître cela à l'écran. Mr. Witness, I would like to, you to have a look at the whole document. Um, Maybe starting with uh, uh, the first page. Par la première page. Um, you can see it's a, a, a school manual. Vous voyez que un manuel um, on the top it says oh, voici uh, fifth confession. And then it says, which is most likely a post-1979 uh, annotation, uh, contemptible traitors Pol Pot and Ing Suri. Une annotation qui date sûrement d'après 79, les maîtrisables et les pauvres pour le peuple de Sarri. Page 0027-1118. Uh, page 0027-1118. Uh, And the page President, um, Mr. Deputy International Co-Prosecutor, you may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. While the witness is looking at the document, could counsel provide us with the uh, specific year and page in English so that we can see what, what part of this document is the witness is reviewing? Yes, of course. Um, ERN um, 0074-7287 and French 0072-1261 and the other page English uh, 0074-7279 and French 0072-1252. Um, Mr. Witness, uh, first general Monsieur question. Témoin, Do you question recognize uh, this notebook? Vous connaissez -vous ce cahier? Answer, I have never seen this Réponse, je ne jamais before. Um, I'll, I'll guide you a little bit uh, through this document, Mr. Witness. This, this seems to be a notebook from um, Krang Tachan, possibly, probably in the period 1976, 
Il uh, consisting of uh, short confessions of uh, 108 individuals, a lot of them possibly uh, with the rank uh, Lonol soldiers or, or ranking Lonol uh, officers. Um, the, the two particular pages that I am referring to uh, you to, um, and especially the sentence that is underlined on both pages, these are the two uh, only prisoners which seem to have, uh, the only two of the 108 prisoners which seem to have endured something that we have discussed earlier with you, uh, the so-called hot methods, or the hot method. Uh, specifically, Mr. President, on the top of, on, on the bottom of uh, English page uh, 7, 00747287, it says, this person was interrogated with some hot methods to dig up his network, but he refused to confess. And the other, the second page, it says, uh, on the bottom English, um, he was beaten during the interrogation, uh, integration, interrogation uh, but he did not confess. Um, so, so, Mr. Witness, it seems that um, of 108 uh, possible prisoners, two people were um, enduring something called the hot method. Would you be able to give a comment on that? Dénommé méthode chaude. Quelle est votre réaction? President, uh, witness, please wait. Uh, Deputy International Court Prosecutor, you may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, this, this is an improper question. Counsel is now testifying himself about uh, whether there are how many references there are in this document. It's not proper for counsel to give evidence himself. Um, uh, he needs to ask questions that this witness can answer rather uh, than give, uh, try to give evidence himself about the contents of this document. Um, I agree with the prosecution that, of course, the proper method would be to ask um, the witness to read the whole document. However, I have very limited time, so uh, I was guiding him through the confessions um, in those pages, those 108 confessions, and um, I have been able to um, to determine that only in relation to two of 108 prisoners, reference is made to something that we discussed earlier with this witness, the hot method. So my question is whether he would be able to give any comment on that. In other words, does he know from his conversations with Anne uh, or Pierre um, whether they would write only in specific circumstances that uh, hot methods were used. Um, if so, uh, if, if that's not the case, why would they bother writing down that the hot methods was used? So I, it's a very condensed question, I understand, but uh, because of time limits, uh, I'm, I'm trying to phrase it like this. Sorry, Council, what exactly is the question? Not even I get it. Well, the question is as follows. Um, there's a notebook, notebook that we discussed, confessions of 108 prisoners. I'm asking if he, if he is able to say anything about the use of, of the hot methods and the description of the fact that the hot method is being used during uh, the interrogations. Mr. Witness, can you say anything about um, maybe because of your conversations with Anne or P, uh, if hot methods were used, was that written down in the summary of the confession? Que cette méthode chaude avait été employée figurait ou non dans les aveux qui étaient consignés. Je n'en savais rien. And 
so that uh, you cannot respond to your question. I did not know anything about 108 confessions or something of this nature. Or what happened in 1976. I understand that, um, Mr. Witness, but I would like now to refer back to your own statement, um, E3-5524. Uh, questions uh, 32 to 35, um, and uh, the prosecution has asked you questions about that as well, and there you described that you were present once uh, during an interrogation um, by P, who was the interrogator, and Anne, who was the recorder. And I, I read, uh, uh, you, you said as follows. P was the interrogator and Anne was the recorder. When P questioned and the prisoner did not respond, P was the person who used hot or cold methods to get the responses. P was the person who received the instructions to interrogate the prisoners. So my question is, when you were there once, and uh, either the hot or the cold method was used uh, to make the prisoners speak. Was that written down in notebook, notebooks like the ones that I just showed you? When I stated in my previous statement, it happens that they were in the middle of the investigation, and it, it did not mean that I participated in the investigation process. And that's what I stated clearly and in the statement, and yesterday I also uh, made it clear before this chamber. But so, to summarize, you're not able to say anything whether about the fact whether uh, the description of a hot method with two out of these 108 prisoners was something uh, which happened often or rarely, or, or what the practice was uh, in respect of writing down which methods were used. I cannot uh, respond to that because I did not know about uh, the methods or whatever you ask. If I saw it, uh, if I recalled it, then I would tell you, but I did not know about this at all. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, I would like now to take you to your statement before the investigating judges. E319822. More specifically to the, your answering question uh, A125. Um, you were briefly asked about this um, by my national colleague. And uh, I would like to read the question to you uh, that was asked to you, your answer, uh, and the follow-up question. The question is as follows, I quote, You have said that you served as the chief of the commune and you arranged marriages. Were the marriages voluntary or coerced? Your answer, they were voluntary. As for the marriages at the rubber plantation, couples who had already committed moral offenses were imprisoned. Thus I asked them if they would love each other for the rest of their lives, then I arranged marriages for them. Question. To your knowledge, were marriages during the Khmer Rouge regime forced? In your answer, I saw many marriages and it appeared that they were not forced. I heard that they asked each spouse if they agreed to get married with a particular person in a particular team or a person of such and such complexion. Some couples remained together, others separated. Last question, did anyone refuse to get married? Yes, they were, there were people who refused to stay married forever. One more question, what was the punishment for those who refused to get married? They just scolded them.
réponse, on les réprimandait. Mr. Witness, do you remember giving this answer to the investigators of the uh, investigating judge? Yes, uh, that's réponse. my oui. statement. Ce I talked about the time period that Je I was at the rubber plantation. Pendant laquelle j à And la I can recall that well. Je me rappelle très bien. For those who committed uh, moral misconduct, and there were two of them who worked at the hospital, moral, and asked them whether they loved each other for life. If that was the case, then they should uh, invite their parents, si cas, and then we would arrange their marriage, and we would Ensuite, provide food for the ceremony. Et ils la pour la and that was a, a giving that I offer them, otherwise in other places they would be punished. Un and that happened in around 77 or 78 at the rubber punish. plantation. Ce qui se en 77, Taking you back to uh, Tromcock District, uh, what Maître specifically can you say about marriages in Tromcock District? Were they uh, also voluntary or were they forced? While well, I was at the Tramka district, Parce there was no marriage ceremony yet. It was only the beginning of the regime as the war just ended la and we were uh, building the society. Et la était en train and de marriage is only true place after we gained a full victory and not at a busy stage of building the society. Um, Mr. Witness, I would like to take you now to um, an answer that you gave in your statement E3-5522. Um, answer A21. The question is as follows. For what use did the district take the Krangta Chan office? And you answer, they used to re-educate the people who were arrested and taken there. In your uh, uh, another statement to the uh, investigating uh, judges, investigators, you say uh, roughly the same thing. Was the purpose of um, Krang Tachan to re-educate people? Yes, that was for re-education purpose. What exactly does that mean, re-education re purpose? It means for them to understand the offenses that they made individually Il de leur faire and that was against the, the leadership uh, line. Et de montrer que cela allait à l'encontre des lignes directrices données par Is it your testimony that people who were sent to Krangtachan were sent there to be re-educated? correct? Yes, uh, as far as I know, oui. they were sent there for uh, re-education and after that they will be reintegrated into the base. However, later on, I was not aware of what happened suite, there because I was transferred uh, to be stationed far away from uh, that center. Ce Last uh, question, um, Mr. Witness. Grang Chan was called um, Re-Education Center uh, 105. Krang uh, Chan était do you remember whether it was also ever called uh, M105? Avez-vous entendu Krang Tachan sous le, le 
le nom M105. I uh, cannot uh, recall it, and Réponse I'm not, not aware pas. that it was uh, named that way. However, I only Vous know that it was uh, called Krang Tachan, because that's where the stores they uh, remained of Tachan. And the person was buried there. And later on, if they change it to M105 or something, it was beyond my knowledge. But to summarize uh, your answer, you've never actually seen any document uh, referring to Krang Tachan using uh, the letter N. Um, figures M105, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Uh, one very final question, that is about um, uh, topography. Uh, rather again, um, Mr. Witness, in your answer E3, uh, in document E35522, um, answer 12, you said that Cus commune counted 33 villages. Um, is that correct? Cus commune uh, comprised of 33 villages. During the time that I was in charge, that is around 1970 or 71, 70 however, 70 later on, it was split uh, into uh, a separate uh, commune. And then my commune, the original name was Pong Tuk, and then it was uh, changed to Pong Tuk Kang Chung, Kang Tuk Bong. And then there was another one called Pong Tuk Kang Chung. It literally means the South Pong Tuk and the north, uh, Northern part of Pong Tuk Commune. It's a difficult question, I realize, but would you be able to estimate roughly how many villages there were in the total of the Trumkok district, so District 105? How many villages uh, were there? Hundreds? Would it, be, would it be possible for you to make an estimation? I cannot uh, provide you a correct uh, estimation of villages because there were uh, several. Yes, in my village itself, I do not know the exact number of the uh, population because uh, sometimes uh, people who were fearful of living there uh, moved to another village without a proper uh, record. And for that reason, we do not know for sure uh, the total number of uh, people living in uh, one village. And it would be more difficult to make a proper estimation for the entire district. Uh, and the number of around 80,000 people living in Tramcock district in 1979, would that be 80, the correct estimate district? or would it be not possible for you to, uh, to, to say anything on that? I cannot say for certainty, uh, but Je probably there will be a, a proper uh, estimate. Mais j'imagine que c'est une estimation Thank you, Mr. President. relativement précise. Thank you. And the Chamber would like now to see the floor to the defense team for a queue of some pawn. Thank you, Mr. President. And good afternoon, Mr. Pan Chen. I have uh, some questions for you. First, I'd like uh, to get clarification from you in relation of uh, your uh, connection with Grand Chan office after 17 April 1975 through 6 January 1979. Can you briefly respond to my question whether you have any relationship in terms of your work or your position to this office within this period? Answer, no, I did not at all.
Aucune. Aucun rapport, aucun lien. Question. Question. Also, during this uh, time period, Et pendant cette période, that is 17 April 1975 to 6 January 1979, 7 April 1979 did you ever go to visit or to meet any friend of yours at that location? Y avez-vous jamais rencontré des amis et vous y êtes-vous jamais rendu en visite? I stated already this morning that is after the matin, victory in 1975, I was assigned to uh, bring logistics to the people who were evacuated from other locations, including from the provincial town. I met some people there and we uh, spoke a little bit. And after that, I returned to my base in Kampongspu province. We did not discuss in details on the nature of our work or on the, the people movement or on the kinds of people who were being evacuated, not at all. Question. When you brought the logistics to Kantachan office, how many times did you do that? And can you specify the time period that you through the logistics to that office? Answer. I assisted in uh, food offering or food supply while I was in Kuf commune pendant que j'étais dans la commune de Kouf. and by 74 when I left Et Kouf commune a replacement uh, took over and dealt with this food logistics il y a eu une relève mise en place and I was transferred uh, far away and I did not have any uh, relationship with that office anymore plus aucun lien, ou plus question due to the discrepancies in uh, your statement Les divergences dans that is the reason I asked you about the time period uh, between 17 April 1975 to 6 January 1979. That is not about the time of what happened in 1974. You stated that you left Kus Commune in uh, around 1974. Does it mean that during the period of the Democratic Cambodia regime, you did not have any role to play or any relationship at all with the Kranthachan office, either officially or unofficially? And once I was transferred uh, to go away to others to be stationed far away, I never returned uh, to that uh, center. And only when I came to uh, visit uh, my Ce village, when I rode my bicycle, village, then I would just uh, drop by at the, at the gate of the center. I did not have any relationship in terms of my role or work nature Je with that center at all. Question. Let me clarify with you. Question. When you went to a Krang Tachan office, J'aimerais mieux comprendre lorsque vous êtes allé during 1974 or 1975 that is after the liberation c'est-à-dire après la libération I refer to the 17 April 1975 liberation liberation du 17 avril 1975 and sir I just stated when I uh, Brought the logistics there. I met people there. Then we we uh, talked a little bit. Comme je vous dit, je des gens et nous and I went to where the refugees from the camp were gathered. Ensuite, là où étaient and les we brought food supply to those people, including the the, the meat. And I did not uh, spend time in that uh, office. Council interrupts. 
Uh, what I want to know is the, uh, the G or the time period that you brought logistics. Was it before or after 17 April 1975? Do you understand my question? Answer, yes, I do. After I left the commune, I did not return. So that was from 1974-75 up to uh, 1979. I was engaged with uh, the work that I did at uh, my uh, station, and I did not have time to return to that office. Question. Can you uh, inform uh, the court that at any time that you went to visit your village, did you have any contact uh, with people working at the Kantachan office, that is, uh, for the period between 1975 to 1979? Gens de Krang Tachan pendant la période entre and, uh, no, avril 1975 et janvier 1979. I sometimes met those people Parfois at a uh, meeting place, but I did not go to that de office. Réunion, mais je n'allais pas dans ce centre. Question. Question. This morning you stated about a member of the party center, that is a Tamok, who was also a zone secretary. Through your experience, in relation to member of the party center, you already ex explained uh, what the center uh, meant. Vous nous avez déjà ce that it was the core centre. part, Vous and it it, it was related <coughs> to other other sections around it. But my question to you is for you to give us your understanding of a member of the party center. Can you do that? Answer. I uh, provided already my personal explanation of what uh, the center means. And as for the uh, structure of the uh, center, in fact, I learned about it from the, the court documents. There's a document from this uh, ECCC uh, uh, document. And I have that document at home. It, it was a, a thick uh, uh, kind of a document. And in that document, there were photos of a Tamok, of Sopham, and of uh, other people. Et de plusieurs autres personnes. Question. Question. As for your personal experience, what is your understanding of uh, being a member of the party center? Namely, the mock, as you stated. Qu'est-ce que cela veut dire être membre du centre du parti, particulièrement s'agissant de Tamok? Answer. Réponse. My observation was based on the presentation made by those uh, trainers. 
by those speakers. They spoke about certain individuals with a certain responsibilities, and I obtained uh, such information through the study sessions that I attended. And personally, I would not be in a position to define to who a member of the party center was. I only learned through the study sessions. Ce sont des informations que j'ai glanées pendant les séances de formation. Question. Question. During that time period, uh, do you know whether anybody else was members of the party center besides uh, Tamok? Qui à part Tamok était Answer, membre du no, centre I du I parti? Not. Ne savez-vous? Réponse: Non, je ne savais pas. Council, uh, please repeat your question since part of your answer Maître is uh, interrupted. Votre question, une de, Witness, de, de, de I cannot understand the, the details uh, about the structure. Les rouages dans le détail de la structure. Council, since there was no uh, translation, could you please repeat your uh, response to my question as to who else uh, you uh, might know members of the party center uh, besides the Tamo? Answer, as far as I know, and I already stated in my previous uh, statements, Comme je l'ai déjà dit, d'après ce que je sais, and uh, I provided the names of those people at the zone level. J'ai donné le nom des gens au niveau because there were several zone, zones throughout the country, and zone secretaries Il y avait des fell zone within that hierarchy. Qui s'inscrivaient dans cette hiérarchie. Question. Question. What do you know about the duties and responsibilities of the center committee? Que savez-vous des tâches et des responsabilités du centre du comité? Answer: No, I would not have that kind of knowledge. Réponse: Je n'en savais rien. Either the center committee or the standing committee, I would not know. Je n'en savais rien ni du comité du centre. Question. This morning you spoke Mais about bien, the district meetings matin, that you attended. De district à laquelle vous étiez présent. My question to you is the following. Did you attend the meetings held at the district level frequently? Avez-vous fréquemment assisté aux réunions tenues à l'échelle du district? Answer: Within the framework Réponse. of the commune, Dans yes, I did. Dans le cadre de la commune, oui. Because all the communes had to attend such a meeting at the district level. Parce que toutes les communes devaient everywhere. assister à ces réunions au we niveau du district. We were given a schedule uh, for certain uh, meetings, and we had to be present during uh, those meetings. On devait absolument assister. And if we uh, could not attend, then si we had to inform them in advance. Présent, alors, but as a common practice, we had to be present at the district meetings. Nous ne pas y assister, mais la pratique voulait que nous soyons présents. Question. And you said during those district meetings, uh, there were uh, two kinds, district, open meetings and closed meetings. Il y avait Can you tell us réunions, the distinction of the two kinds of meetings, et why there were uh, closed meetings ah oui, and why there were open meetings, en for instance? And did or were you present in only one specific kind of meeting, so in both kinds of Et meetings. Et vous présent aux deux types de réunions ou à un seul type de réunion? Answer. Réponse. The 
through monthly meetings were open meetings. Les réunions bimensuelles As for the extraordinary ouvertes. meetings without a set schedule were closed meetings and we did not know about the content of those meetings. Nous we only knew that the meetings or closed door or examinés. closed meetings were held at the district levels. But we did not know what uh, were discussed during those uh, close meetings. Ces réunions avaient lieu au niveau du district, mais nous ne savions pas de quoi il y était question. Question: Did you yourself question. ever attend uh, the so-called close meetings? Avez-vous jamais assisté à des réunions à huis clos? Answer. I could only réponse, attend the open je meetings. Aux réunions and we ouvertes. talk and discuss about the labor, about the working in the rice fields, etc. De la et autre chose. Question uh, in your statement, E3 slash 72, in question answer 72, 77 rather. 77. You talked about attending a study Vous session avoir à of a textbook about the uh, dam and canal construction. My question to you is uh, the following. Did you attend any question. study session à des in terms of a political study session in Phnom Penh or elsewhere? Answer. Réponse. During the uh, longer period that I performed my uh, duty with them, and if you refer to major meetings at the Takai Provincial si Town or in Phnom Penh or at the secret uh, place along the Dong Rey Mountain Range, I did not attend those kinds of meetings. I only attended the meetings held at the districts to receive uh, the plan. And we had to implement those plans from the district at the commune level. And we only knew what we were uh, given by the district level and whether the, those instructions from the district, district were from the upper level or from the district itself, we did not know. Si question. Ou bien de les this could be my last question, question. In regarding your role at the commune. I'm still unclear whether you were the so-called commune committee, commune secretary, or just a member of the commune. commune. Vous le and did de you la work commune, at that commune for one phase only, or there were two or three separate phases where you engaged in the commune work? Une seule période, ou Answer. <coughs> I was responsible for a two communes, while I was a de good commune. I was in charge of uh, social affairs and culture. And uh, the other person was uh, soon. Person, soon. And when I moved to another commune, I was the deputy commune, of Lawn. Lawn was the commune secretary. Qui était le secrétaire communal. Thank you, uh, Mr. President, and I'd like to hand the floor now to my international uh, council, President. Uh, thank you. Yes, uh, you uh, may proceed, Council Goucheret. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Bonjour, Monsieur Panchen. Je m'appelle Antalice, je suis un co-avocat international de M. Kiosampan et j'ai quelques questions de suivi pour avoir quelques précisions sur votre déposition. Ce ne sera pas très long. Une première question pour rebondir sur une réponse que vous venez de faire à mon confrère, Frank Samon. Vous avez indiqué que vous avez appris un certain nombre de choses sur les structures euh, du PCK à travers des documents des CETC. Euh, Est-ce que vous pouvez indiquer à quel moment et euh, de quels documents vous euh, parlez Je 
It was written in a book in black, with black cover. On the cover, there was a photo of a, a train with um, the senior leaders in that train. That's all I can remember. Et quand est-ce que vous avez eu accès à ce livre Et ce sera ma dernière question. And dessus. when did you have access to that book That is the thrust of my question. Well, that I'm to... It was when I attended the meeting with other organizations who discussed about the past history of Pol Pot and I received the books. It's a, a booklet featured by photos and I kept them for reading and, and to read further. I uh, attend uh, several meetings by the organizations, des organizations. including LICADO and other uh, NGOs, Licado, uh, other organizations. I often attended those uh, meeting discussions. Some réunions. organizations would uh, show video of Certaines the uh, security center, including Krang Techan. And I saw Krang Techan, um, the, the photo and also the footage. Photos, um, it's vidéo. a kind of reenactment of uh, what was happening during the Khmer These are uh, the, uh, uh, the materials and voilà, even that uh, I uh, get the knowledge of uh, that. Et juste, c'était en quelle année And in what year was that Answer. It happened often, more often in 2013 and 2014. And in 2015, there was no organization hold any meeting uh, in in my area. De réunion dans mon coin. Je vais passer maintenant à, un, à une autre ligne de questionnement. Euh, juste un point de précision, tout à l'heure, répondant à une so, question de mon confrère uh, de l'équipe de Nyonchea sur les CHAM, euh, vous avez fait une réponse qui n'a pas été traduite en français, donc je vais vous reposer la question. Euh, Est-ce que entre 75 et 79, euh, vous savez s'il y avait des CHAM à Takeo Answer, I don't know about Je that. Sais rien. I don't know about that, um, especially since the old regime and also uh, during the decay regime. Je n'en sais rien. Je ne sais pas ce qu'il en était ni sous le régime précédent ni sous le Kampuchea démocratique. Est-ce que vous en avez vu personnellement? Did you see any of them? Personally. Answer, no, I never saw any charm. je n'ai jamais vu de charm. Dans votre déclaration, E319.1.20, à la réponse 22, vous avez indiqué qu'il n'y avait pas de charm à Takeo et que vous avez été dans la zone nord où il y en avait, mais qu'il n'y avait pas de violence à leur rencontre. Est-ce que vous confirmez ce point Answer. Il y avait uh, the north zone and the Chiam east zone. When I was working est. in the uh, rubber plantation, there were many charms in uh, many villages uh, all uh, over there, villages. including Temnemet village, uh, Kropang Resai village, Kabal O village, Chonko village, etc. Et 
houses were built uh, for them. I didn't see any charm in Takao province. Sur un autre point, vous avez euh, évoqué euh, à plusieurs reprises euh, les problèmes d'inconduite morale qu'il y avait pu avoir au cours du Kampuchea démocratique. Et euh, vous avez d'ailleurs indiqué que ça a été même à, à l'origine de votre problème avec euh, euh, un chef de commune. Euh, ma première question est, est-ce que vous vous souvenez si, dans le cadre euh, de vos formations euh, avec... Euh, que ce soit les gens de la commune ou que ce soit dans le cadre de votre formation révolutionnaire, est-ce que vous vous souvenez des douze principes moraux ou des douze commandements révolutionnaires cannot remember all, but I just uh, realized that uh, committing this often is wrong based on the uh, commandment, for example, um, immoral conduct um, with a woman. This is one of the offenses. That's all I know. Quand vous dites acte immoral, est-ce que vous pouvez préciser? When you talk of anti-moral conduct. Can you be more specific? Answer. Uh, are you expecting um, the simple word for moral or immoral often? Offense? Vous parlez donc euh, <coughs> ສົມລົກໄສເວດີຊ្លາຍເອົາຊູມມາຫນອງຕິດຊູກອນນະບາອົກຄຸນແລະນີ້ຈະລອງໄປສໍາລະອ້າຍອາກິເບສໍາລະ